now we can uh, kick back and play Zelda. If you're uh, watching later on YouTube, hi. Thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. I just finished playing Banjo Kazooie and it was three and a half hours of one stage, so that was fun. Okay. So, it's kind of leading me in the direction of Laurelin, which I did go to, but... According to what... So, yeah, it's like... Pura is leading me towards... Um... I've gone blank. Zora's domain, jeez. Yeah, uh, Banjo has always fried my brain. Um, yeah, Pura's leading me towards Zora's domain, so I guess I should go in that direction. But I don't even know, like, I swear at one point someone told me to go to the Gerudo Valley as well, like, I know it's open-ended. Um, but they do push you in a certain direction, it's just right now I've kind of reached the point where it's question mark. Anyway, let me go here first. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't mind either way. It's just... I don't know, the preferences? Which would you rather see me do? Zora's Domain or the Gerudo area? Because the game isn't exactly being crystal clear. Which one? I've seen both being hinted at. The first one was clear. Same with the second dungeon. Strong, independent, Link, you don't li need to listen to NPCs. No, I know, but people are also playing this game. And if I start doing stuff where they're not up to it, then it's just spoilers. Uh, I need to go to this one now. Just do the memories in order. Yeah, I already did memory 10 by accident, but it's fine. It's not the last memory. I haven't been chasing memories. I suppose if I get the Lanayru one, that's heading towards Zora's Domain, and that is the next memory, so it's almost like I should go to Zora's Domain. Okay. That's all I wanted to do. I mean, in this case, it's fine. If you want to see me do Zora's Domain or have any objections to Zora's Domain, speak now. Or forever hold your peace. I don't care about what the NPCs think. I care about what you think, chat. Do Zora's? Okay. I don't know if anyone's seen, um, the Lord of the Rings game that came out today, the Golem game. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't realize they were making a Golem game, but man, it's gotten really bad reviews, um, because it's, it's buggy, but it's just, he just doesn't look or sound right, and man. I feel bad for the devs working on it, because it sucks when you put your effort into something and then it's not well received. It's it's not a great feeling. However, it's one of these things where it's the game is a full price game. So in Australia, it's $90. And I just look at it and I'm like, man, I wouldn't pay, <laughs> I wouldn't pay $90 for that. 
It's just because it's Lord of the Rings, that's pretty much it. And, uh, it's to the point where the fonts they use for the text... If I was to put text on the screen in OBS, that's the font they've used pretty much, so... It's just... It just doesn't have the polish. It, it looks visually okay, but it just doesn't run well, and... Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of semi-tempted if it... If it goes on PlayStation Plus... To play it. Just for shits and giggles. Because I, I, I can do a pretty good golem voice. It'd be funny. But... Uh, from what I've seen, people are not enjoying the gameplay, so I'm not sure. Kind of scraping the barrel in the franchise if it's all about Gollum. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I, I mean, it's effectively telling the story of... After Bilbo got the ring, more or less, and Gollum trying to track down Bilbo and what happened in that gap, I guess. Um, I think I can expand the bow inventory. Plus, we haven't seen Hestu dance in a while. Hestu, Hestu, where is Hestu? There you are. I've probably walked past him a few times. Um, oh, it's 45. Bow. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Dance is so good. Haven't done any shields. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I feel like the shield stash is the least important. <laughs> oh, they got a quest. I'm worried sick about everyone in Luralin Village. Hey, maybe I should head back there and scope out the situation. Don't be ridiculous. The pirates are really dangerous. Rulings in my hometown is, was enough, but losing you too, not an option. Ah, customer. Sorry about that. We were caught up in conversation. Everyone in the village is okay? You you spoke to Roizel? Thank goodness. Just hearing that everyone is alright is enough for me. The village and houses can all be rebuilt, but there's no replacing the people. Still, I can't imagine how they're all feeling, with no homes to return to. How long do those no good pirates plan on staying there? Well, anyway, thank you for bringing us the best possible news. Please have this as a sign of our gratitude. Crab. This mighty salty grilled crab is my finest cooking. It's a dish that really brings out the warrior in you. Please enjoy. All we can do now is hope that those pirates leave Luralin Village at some point. Our shop is there too. I wonder what's become of it. Okay. Uh, I haven't started Luralin, no. I just got there and turned around, so... Yeah, maybe I should buy the Hylian pants. Just to complete the set. Okay. Hey, confirming, guess what?
I'm sure you, you've guessed that by now. Just because I bought the pants, I'm here to upgrade the pants. Cancel the dialogue on purpose. <laughs> if you're just listening to this with no visual, yeah, it's kind of awkward. Shit! No, that, that I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That was, that was an accident. That wasn't trying to be funny, though. That was genuinely an accident. Okay. Uh, I can get rid of you. Alright, so... Oh, you know what I just remembered? The chick that was going to... Uh, the skeleton. I forgot about this yesterday. I need to pick these up because no doubt the uh, Gerudo Valley set's gonna involve this. You know what? I should be killing the Zalfos as well because Zora's the main. The Zora armor is probably gonna involve that too. Yeah, she's here. Okay. Uh. It took so long to walk all the way out here. I wish I could have seen him with both of his eyes in his head. I just did it. Huh? Wait, huh? Ma. I can see both of his little eyes. I just look at him. That big, ferocious face. Those cute, round eyes. I'm not sure whether to cower in fear or pat him on... His adorable baby head. He's not just complete, he's perfect. So you found his eye and put him back together again. Thank you. Here, take this. It's the least I can do. Okay, so this is just... That's fine. Mm. Leviathan and Hebra. Okay, well... Let's pretty much just go there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's money, so... Okay, I need to swap to... It's this one, I think, right?
You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, this is waste, waste, waste of stamina. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I thought that was a new one. Another game I've been waiting for comes out, uh... Really? Next week. So I'm gonna have to squeeze in... Yeah. Some time. Next week's gonna be a long week, but there's gonna be... Games that come out that I've been looking forward to, so... Should be good. I'm probably gonna go see the new Spider-Verse movie as well, so... Uh, but if you haven't heard of Ketamare Damacy... One, it's a fun game, but also two, it just, it's one of those games that makes me very, uh... Salty and... Stubborn slash tenacious. But it's a short game. And it's it's fun. Wait for the movie to be free. Yeah, that's fair enough. Anyway, Katamari Damacy, great game. Very very Japanese game, but <laughs> a great game nonetheless. But you might show up. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? How adorable is the sharp little mouth on this leviathan skeleton? He looks so different from the one in Elden too. Maybe another species. Or should I say she? What if they're the same species, but one's a boy and one's a girl? Oh, that's just so fascinating. Which makes it even sadder that this little dumpling's bones are missing. After all that walking, I was really hoping to see the leviathan fully intact. Well, why don't you look closer? You fixed it! You fixed it! Look at that, it's as good as new. Ah, oh, take a moment to drink it all in. Those elegant fins, that rigid back, it's simply breathtaking. I really can't thank you enough for fixing my precious leviathan. This is for you. It's the least I can do for after getting to see such a darling fossil. Okay. Hmm. One more leviathan, it's in the desert. Yeah, I know where it is. like the very back of the map. Ah. But we'll get to that later. Wow. Okay. Right, so now... Let's get Hatino's tower, finally. I'm getting these two towers. Which will just leave this pocket. So, let's just work on that. I haven't really done many of the shrines here, I don't think. All oh, right, yeah, this is on the ground. I 
apparently there's a patch for this game that's uh, fixing a lot of the bugs. Or oh, it's glit- well, exploits, I should say. They're bugs, but they're exploits. People found duplication exploits, so... They patched it. Yeah, pretty much for the people cheating. Ooh. Show me the way, little friend. Where are you going? Oh. Wow, I'm blind. <laughs> Wall not. Sneezed. Oh, it, <laughs> wait, it ate- it can eat the spirits? How does that work? I didn't know that was a thing. Yep. Apparently there was a g glitch to get the Master Sword to cool down. Probably. I did hear that someone found a way to, um, get the, the bubble things. Just very quickly. Master Sword has a cooldown. Yeah, if you're fighting constantly, it sucks. But I guess I just didn't want to make it a thing where... Once you get the Master Sword, every other weapon is relevant. Chulin, once again. Just, I'm not sure how they would address that, really. Damn. Good gems in here. hearing I'm hearing ah oh, there it is it's like in a blind spot yeah no that's, that's a bad weapon Someone fell and called 911. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. Aren't most weapons? No. I found some decent ones. Just 
Which was the one I found yesterday. That one. The 55 blade was really good. I found this one yesterday. It's like top four in terms of my most powerful, I think, roughly. You can find good stuff. They've definitely improved it over Breath of the Wild for sure. Breath of the Wild, every single one was bad. This is like about 50-50, which it's fine. I mean, either way, it's a good weapon. It doesn't matter if it's a base. It's like, it's a good base as well. This was the whole thing. It's base plus weapon, I found. I didn't attach that. That's how the weapon came. I just think the whole system just gives more meaning to fighting and grabbing materials. It's, it's more important now than it used to be. I was ne I had never really had an interest in grabbing materials, ever. But now I'm actively fighting and I think it's better. My love heart Goron weapon. Ooh, barbarian legs. Okay. You agree it's better durability just annoys you slightly more than in Breath of the Wild. Well, you're saying that it's more annoying in this game than in Breath of the Wild? Or Breath of the Wild's more annoying? It doesn't bother me anymore. I think the only thing that bothers me is just the Master Sword from a lore perspective, that's all. Everything else is fine. Because of the amount of extra exploration this game kind of incentivizes you to do. Weapon seems to break quicker. I think it's kind of the opposite. Because the game doesn't expect you to just use decayed weapons. Like, you should be attaching stuff to it constantly. If you're using decayed weapons, then yeah, of course they're not going to last. They're not intended to last. Let me put it this way. These, this enemy group here is not an enemy group that I would ever consider fighting in Breath of the Wild. Because I would lose three to four weapons fighting them, if not if not more. Whereas in here, it's not the case. Like, I might lose two. Three if I'm unlucky. It's definitely way less. Just need to be uh, merging them with other things constantly. I just need to hunt more Korok down. That's also a factor, is how many inventory slots you have. Yeah. 
but I mean, for me, just... So this fight, for example, I just got a weapon already. That's gonna be a good replacement for what I, I just spent on it. Whereas in Breath of the Wild, that was just, it was just never the case. It would never happen. I think this, uh... The system is far superior than Breath of the Wild's one. You just need to be taking advantage of all the weapon fusions. See, okay, so look at that fight, right? I still have my weapon. And that was, uh, three black bokoblins and effectively like a, a moblin. Which in Breath of the Wild I would have lost multiple weapons and then gotten nothing in return really for it. Like I would have been worse off. I've been enjoying the gameplay loop a lot more on this one, so... Office? I think it is. Or it's a silver one. Yeah, it's a Lizalfus. That is a chest. I'm going to keep that axe because I've had a couple of circumstances where I wish I had an axe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's high durability, but I just don't like boomerangs in general. <laughs> Only now is my, my sledge about to break. And I've done multiple fights. So yeah, definitely an improvement. a good basis, so I guess let's just keep going. Oh! Okay, we're in... I guess what, this is Mount Lanayru. Is this underground still? No, it's not. I mean, I've cleared the cave, so that's fine.
Jailbreak. Keep going, huh? Yeah. I don't know why I stopped. Just making sure there's no... Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I was being clever. Whoops. Wait, but it's gonna. No. Okay. Uh, it's fine. I don't need to do that. I'm going. Oh, I've, you know, I've never really used magic staffs. I'm overcomplicating it. Like, it's, it's just this. Just be quick about it. There we go. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. If I soft locked myself, no. It's fine. Oh, because jailbreak. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Okay, it's fine. Dude, that's not what I was trying to do. Stop it. Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> Same thing. Right, same thing. It's fine. I should uh, look into getting the third fairy. Which once I got once I got the tower on Lanaru, um, it wanted me to go to some stable in uh, the western area. 
because having all these hearts is all well and good, but the armor isn't hasn't caught up, you know. Okay, I have a magic rod, but what element should it be? Should it be fire, should it be ice, or should it be lightning? Lightning. Hmm. I'm probably not going to use magic. <laughs> if you had to pick an element, which element would you be? I mean, if I'm playing something like Diablo, I'd probably go cold. It's just the prospect of freezing stuff and buying yourself time is, is good. But lightning does have its its uh pros. I'm surprised these things, they don't do elemental versions of them, they're just kind of the same every time. It doesn't will this work? This is a curiosity. I just realized I don't it doesn't have to be a gem, does it? What about these? The science. Oh, it does work. Yeah, so you can use these. So this is an elemental rod still. Yeah, okay. This looks cooler. Wait, is that another? Or is that the one I just did? That's the one I just did. Jeez, I haven't gone very far. I don't know why, I just... Fire as an element. I guess because in games that I've played, fire just doesn't seem to be as strong. 
cold is strong because it freezes, and electricity is strong because it either disarms or it stuns. Fire, it's just... I don't know. It's supposed to burn and then it makes things weaker in some games. In others it does like a little, oh no, I'm, I'm on fire, I'm on fire animation, which I guess is the same. But I think it's just because of that. Like, I just like the idea of being able to freeze some, something so then I don't have to worry about it for a while. Like, that appeals to me quite a bit. Also, these things are worth killing. Damn. I gotta be careful not to lock it not to knock it overboard. You broke my shield, you dick. There we go. Uh, what is that? That's an emitter. Frost emitter spear. Eh. It's fine. Their construct horns are worth it. When you put a frost like stone on a Zora spear, the thing broke in two hits. Just, I don't know what to tell you. Probably because it prefers starves. Maybe there's like an optimal item to use it on. Like you can do whatever you want. I said maybe, like I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. That, if I was trying to think of an explanation as to why. Thought that was a Zora spear on my back. No, 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 no. This is uh this is staff. It's a uh what is it? Magic staff. So now oh, it's just go in, I guess. No quest to do. Is the switch in this area? It is, yes. It's just over there. So I'll get the next memory. <laughs> it still made me laugh. Just, that cutscene was ruined just by that. It's like, really? They couldn't just let Zelda be magical? She has to pull out the Nintendo Switch looking device. As a plot device, really? Like... What happened to just having swords and shields and just things that are part of the fantasy and not just trying to be, yes, let's... Gotta do product placement in a game where the people that are playing this game already own the product. Come on, man. That's not princess like. That's not what bothers me. It's just out of place. <laughs> it's just. Okay, if it was an ancient device, right? Like, because I get it, there's ancient technology in here. And it was styled like some sort of thing. Something that didn't look like a Nintendo Switch. 
and she pulled out some ancient device, that would be fine. Because you've gone to the effort of, like, inventing some sort of lore, you know? But this is just straight up lazy. It's just lazy. I don't know, man. Don't know. Just... It would be like instead of a steering wheel here, Link just pulls out a set of Joy-Cons, you know what I mean? It's just... It's kind of... Not literal Joy-Cons, but they look like Joy-Cons. It would just remove a bit of my immersion. It's just... Come on. Good stuff. It's another diving thing, so I don't have to stress about it. I just need to get to it. Gonna get the final piece of the the sky set. Okay. Trial run. There is no time limit. Relax and get a feel for the ceremony. Pass through the rings. I will guide you to the starting position. Please seek or authorization. Okay. So I wasn't worried. <laughs> it just reminds me the worst product placement I've seen just very egregious and kind of it just sucked um it was I Am Legend no hang on what was it, it was it was one of those movies where it was like a post apocalyptic thing it may have been the book of Eli it was one of those two movies it was post apocalyptic and it was one of those things where you know, everything is derelict and broken down. And then the dude goes for a jog and he just puts in his, uh, his, his AirPods. <laughs> just, or earbuds, just Apple, Apple branded shit. Just squeaky clean. Ugh, man. <laughs> Capitalism, am I right? <laughs> I think it was the Book of Eli, and it may have been Beats by Dre, now that I think about it. it was, I think it was Beats by Dre. Which are Apple owned, so that was sort of on the mark. I really like this one. It just just reminds me of Pilot Wings. I love that game. Oh cool, I can get more uh, Zoni devices.
I'll probably teleport to the tower to do these islands. I've done nothing with my diamonds. Like, I don't want you to do things with it, but... I've done nothing. I really wanted to get through, uh, or at least go, no, maybe not get through it, but get up to whatever's next, but, ugh, man, Banjo-Kazooie, dude, it just, it just killed me today, <laughs> just, oh. I had fun, but it's just... Masochism. Okay, let's equip these to make this easier. Because we're gonna do this in style. Let's, uh... What am I wearing as a headpiece? How about this? It's, like, very tribal. <laughs> I love this. I just wish it, it didn't drain rupees wearing it. I would wear this for the rest of the playthrough. very anime here. Okay. Trial run. Let's go. Please offer the zone I charge. Yep. Done. Then I'll guide you to starting position within 35 seconds. Okay. Whoa, got lost. What the fuck? Uh, I don't see the ring. Uh, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. Uh, how did that happen? Try again. Ooh, that is sneaky. Ah, oh, damn it. It zigged, I zagged. Ah. <laughs> I think I just missed the good one. Incredible. Proof of maturity. There we go. I'll say, hey, Melis. Damn it! It's point one off. Alright, let's do it again. I got the full kit now, though. Okay. Maximum mobility. This is cool, though. Oh, shit! Ah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I 
That was a waste of a life. It's, it's... Yeah, 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 let's do it again. How does this look? Oh, th this looks like, um... Like a Plague Doctor mask. Oh. I guess there uh, lies the challenge. Got it. Good. It's just money, but good. Or not. I mean, that's fine. I'll pass, I'm good. Yeah, it's like a plague doctor mask. I mean, it's kind of neat. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's like a... Huh, that's cool. Alright, I did use, not hold. Wait, can you send this back? Oh, you can send it back, hold on. What does this do? <laughs> okay. Just curious. Like, if I could send that back and force it open, that'd be interesting. Just thinking. Because, I mean, stealing from vendors has been part of the Zelda franchise at some point, so. Beam emitter. Oh, I got, I got a bunch of beam emitters. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, that would have been cool if there's some way to steal from them. be cool if there were other ways to earn them besides gacha. There is. Um, certain fights will give you them. You can also find them in treasure chests. Like, I found quite a few just through uh, treasure chests in the world. You return one. That's not how gacha works. It's like, I don't want this. This isn't a, this isn't a good prize. Put it back. Yeah, of course there is. I already know which one it's going to be. Immediately. Okay, where is this tablet? Tablet is on Lanero's side. Be able to see it. Maybe I've flown too far away, admittedly. Okay, hold on. Let me. It's probably a better idea to do this. Oh no, but this is Hatina. This is Lanero's tower, but it's in Hatina. Um, I need to go to the spring. Anyway, so. Okay. 
Where is it? It's like... Okay, it's just around the corner. Yeah, my shield broke. Uh, yeah, let's use this. Hello, my name is Nasby. I am a treasure hunter and an adventurer extraordinaire, undaunted by even the coldest snow. This area is frozen solid and packed with monsters. No one in their right mind would set foot here, except me, of course. Surely there must be treasure resting here on this mountain where everyone else fears to tread. That's what drove me to travel all this way to Mount Lanero. Until I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reasons I am. And if you are, I'll be wanting to know what... Wait. Oh, you'll be wanting to know what I want... Oh, I can't read. You'll be wanting to... The truth is, by sheer luck, I overheard a legend relating to the treasure on this mountain while I was on my way here. It's been a long week. I knew I was a genius for assuming there was a treasure on Mount Lanero. Do you want to hear the legend too? Great, listen up. Hi. For I, Nazbi, the treasure hunter with nothing to hide. The legend goes like this. Skim across snow from spring high in the heavens to the mountains below. Pass through rings of light to see the light of blessing. It's snowboarding. Okay. I suspect the spring high in the heavens is referring to these springs. The treasure is as good as found, except for finding it part. I don't know what to do about the rings of light bit, but I don't see anything like that around here. But I give up. Because you see... Hi. I won't be give up because you see I am Nazbi, the Dauntless Treasure Hunter. Not to be confused with my noble steed, Dauntless. Okay. It's fine. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, will you help me restore the Mardigal's statue? Seek the blue spirit Nadra who chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens. Offer Nadra's claw at this spring. I'll take care of it. It's, it is done already. I have Nadra's claw. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. <laughs> yeah, well. There is one last goddess statue who guards the spring as I do. For the sake of the Mother Goddess statue, I ask your sister as well. I need din... No, I've got dins. I need ferocious. Yeah, ferocious claw. I just gotta head to the correct region. Just a sec. Let me cross reference this. Okay, so it's on the west side of the mountain. It's over here somewhere. Um, I need to figure out this rings of light thing. I mean, would it start, like, if I was to start doing it here, would it? Hmm. Doesn't seem right. There should be a, a starting point somewhere. Unless it means the very, very top. 
like from the top of the hill. Maybe I can catch that. Let's see. I should be unfreezable, so I'll be okay. What do I want? I want... I guess I should, I should go for the scale. No, you know what? Get a claw. Get a claw. Get a claw. Get a claw. Because I need another claw to upgrade, uh... Get the spikes off her back, what do you mean? Wait, so like... How do I do that? Okay, hang on. Oh, there's some spikes you can pick up. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. I did not know you could do this. That's cool. Um, I want her claw, though. Any other, I'm just gonna go. It's fine. A couple is fine. I'll, I know this is a thing now. I just don't want to lose sight of the uh. Where did it fall? Oh, there. Got it. Nice. Here. I guess that'll make a good weapon. Oh. What's that? Oh, that's in, yeah, that's in that territory, but it's fine. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't like how it did this make a hammer? I don't like how it looks. Like I guess. Okay, where is this? It's gotta be this way. Let me just make sure. Okay, so directly... Hold on. It's here. It's actually further along. It's further away from here, because it's like... 
pretty much south of the castle. So let's go from this tower instead. Just looking at the map. There it is, it's over there. What is the nearest thing? Okay, <laughs> but the Elden Tower is closer. <laughs> the Elden Tower is closer, somehow. Okay, so it should be, there it is. I don't think I needed to do that, but that's fine. This should be obvious, right? Yeah, this is the third memory. So there's always a Korok, and then... I think I can already see it. So this is after Zelda arrived and met Rara and Sonya. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. Oh, sh Looks like a Dragon Ball character. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru. Do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. If you got a secret stone chat, what part of yourself would it amplify? I think for me it would uh, amplify my corruption. <laughs> Glitch passive to an extreme level. For you, I can sense both light and time powers. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. 
It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means if you don't already multitasking. <laughs> There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you you. Is she going to become the new dragon? Probably. Just get that feeling that's what's going to happen. Back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. These memories are definitely longer. Uh, I'll have to look at which one's next. Dragon looking thing. Oh, it's like... What is that? That's... It's that one there, I think. It's like... Side of Hyrule, I guess. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. I've seen it. It's, uh, it's this hill here. It's here. Uh, I mean, I guess since I'm already away from where I, my goal, uh, it's probably the closest. Isn't it this one? I thought it was this one. There's one definitely on top of that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong about it. Ah. Of course it's raining. There's definitely one on this hill. I've seen it before. I, that's why I marked it. It's just, the quality of the image is very crusty, so it's kind of hard to see. But I'll be able to see if this is the right one. This is with anti-slip gear. Huh. 
Really? On something that was effectively like just flat? Really? Oh, and it's gonna it's gonna let me stop here that isn't as flat as up there? Okay. Gee, sure I'm glad Nintendo stuck to their guns with the slip system and didn't choose to pay attention to the overwhelming number of people that hated it in Breath of the Wild. Sure I'm glad. this one. I'll be able to notice right away. This will let me get a good view. My health? Oh, please. <laughs> Played the previous game with three hearts the majority of the time. This doesn't concern me in the slightest. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't this one. This is a dragon head. Oh, good. But I will, I'm not going to grab it, I'm just going to mark it, so then I know it's here. <laughs> Somehow I took full damage from that, but okay. I still want to, I still wanted to find it. So it is literally here. I teleported, I was going to find it either way. It's not a waste of time, because I'm still going to have to do this anyway, so it's okay. It's just blurry JPEG quality. Is it the one? Hang on, what am I looking at? It's like a dry... Oh, it's like... Elden. It's just... It's hard to see, like, the top ones are hard to see. Sometimes you just gotta let the streamer just play the game even if they're wrong. Like, I wasn't looking for an answer. If it was- the answer was incorrect, I'd be like, alright, it's wrong, I'll go look for it elsewhere. I'll get there eventually. Oh, I guess the woods Woodlands Tower is probably the correct one. Hang on. Yeah, Woodlands Tower.
I underestimate just uh, how far these towers are from one another. Jeez, it's already midnight. Oh my god. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. I didn't realize it was that late already. Jeez. How have I already been playing this for an hour and a half? Okay, that's sword. Disoriented. Where am I? There it is. Wait, no? What's that? That is Hebra, so we don't want that. There's Elden. It should be over there. I've been here, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, right, you're down here. Okay, so there's Nintendo Switch. It's gonna attack me. There it is, I can see it. Uh, getting all the Koroks, no idea. I'll s see how I feel. Right now I'm just enjoying the game and not thinking about 100%ing it. I did find all of them in Breath of the Wild, and <laughs> it's just, do I want to do that right away? I don't know. We'll see. So that other tower was closer. It's okay. Do we know how many are total? I would assume over 900, but I haven't looked because I don't want spoilers. So if you know, don't say anything. doing uh heading to a memory this will probably be the last one i head to for a while wait don't i have that one no i have that one what the fuck am i doing it's okay i'm fine It pointed it over here, but let me look at this again. It should be just directly north of the castle.
I don't know why they couldn't just make it unlock it in a particular... You don't need a particular order, just go to them and it gives you the memory correct. It's like a serpent type thing. This is this is such crusty quality. I, I can't tell. That looks south. The one south looks like the apostrophe. Hang on. The one south looks like the apostrophe to me. Ah, uh, I see what I've done. Okay, so what does it look like? Let me see it again. Right, so the thing that I'm looking for is pointing tail downwards. Which is what It is west. Because the south looks like a nine to me. Let me do this one again. Ugh, it's kind of annoying. How many Korok? I have 211 Koroks, so I don't know what to say. And I haven't exactly been trying or hunting them. Fucking here. Oh, God. Okay, where is it? I can't see a filled in one, so it's probably where that where those trees are. I haven't checked my playtime for this. Yeah, take it as much. Okay, another memory coming in. Unless the next one is right next to this one, I'm not gonna get another one. I wanna continue. <laughs> Gone and that darf. This is number four. Hyrule will bow down before me. <laughs> oh, those are some haircuts. Man's an army of Muldugas. It's more than we thought! It's a swarm! There are so many of them! But why would they...
See, third eye. Right there. He has a third eye. Wiped up all the Volduga. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting. That was a short one. There's one Korok here, so let's find the Korok. It's probably where the other tree line is. Is that a battle talus? Yeah, it is. I gotta fight it. There's always a Korok. It's gonna find the stone. Probably back where the other uh, sort of tear shaped things were. Is it? There's always one. There it is. I see it. The fuck? Ah, oh, is... wait. What? What is that? It's not. Is that? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not yellow. The fuck?
What are you? It's not what? The fuck? What is this? Fell from the sky. It's not a. It's not a star. It's not a star because it would have vanished by now. It's not the same color. What the heck is this? Oh shit, it is a star fragment. thing just does not have as good a range as <laughs> it's so weird anyway just leave it it's fine it's gone it's definitely gone now why was the beam of light white it's usually yellow anyway Distraction. Training again. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I'm up to. 200 and something. please. Damn it. Good job, children. All right, we're done here. Ah, still done. Again, the chill and carry. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess let's make a sword out of it. <laughs> I'll use the sword now since it's the weaker sword I got.
sure. Alright, what is the next one, just out of interest? Uh, kind of st standing up thing. It have to be that it would have to be that one. I might have I interpreted this map wrong? Like because there's Lurlin. It's just too it's just such bad quality. My map is sideways. How is it sideways? Look. Oh yeah, no it is. Okay, so let me look at this then. Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I'll get a better map later. Let's just continue. This is, this, this is a rabbit hole. Brain not computing right now. Uh, I guess... here. Blame Banjo Kazooie. Also, the long week I've had. I gotta. Yeah, I think I gotta get rest, to be honest. Let me, at the very least, get the tower. Eat his meat. Why is it always raining? Or is Zora's domain on the just this rain thing again? Like they just went with it again. Zoras and it has not rained once. Okay. Well, it's just my luck, I guess. Uh, let's go back to Sneaky Sneak Gear.
stupid position of rain climbing gear was the best thing ever. I think they just should have removed the slipping, personally. I mean, the, the ice kind of makes sense. The ice is probably the only exception I'll say, okay. It makes sense, but like, they're sticking to their guns like as if, yes, this is a good system. It just needed tweaking. No, it's, it's terrible. Like, it, it straight up just defeats the purpose of exploration. It's like, they want you to explore this vast world, but then they have this system where there is pretty much no circumstance where it's a positive thing. It's just there to hinder you. Will it hold? <laughs> Nailed it. Wait, why, why did that come out of the ground? It usually doesn't come out of the ground like that. Oh! Yeah, I really don't like the ones that are on a slant like this, so I'm gonna... This is why I have these. They are most excellent for getting these ones done. Just be able to set a foundation. I'm not brute forcing it. Am I brute forcing it? I'm just using what's in the game. There's no rules against using outside materials. I mean, these are sandbox puzzles. Like, there's no right answer as long as it stands up. Let me get to that tower. Lizard, come here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> that sword's awesome. It's a mushroom sword. And a little, uh, conga line behind. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good. What made them think to do that? Just, yes. Oh, what the fuck is this? Sludge? Okay. So it's pollution this time around. I haven't really tried using many of the materials to do things. It's just... Going with what I feel like. Assume that's the confusion one. Yeah, haha. I've seen it. I don't know. Have more fun fighting stuff. take too long. This is why we want axes. Yeah, no, I'm good.
Okay. Uh, did I f didn't find the thing? Hang on. It's over there. Wait, is it? Hang on. No, I think it is. It's just... <laughs> I just didn't want to fight it again. There's so many of these in here. That's fine. Just go. I think I may have gone backwards. Let's see. This is definitely not backwards. Is this going to be another one of these haha -ha, slippery cave? That's the puzzle. It's a floodgate. up. Okay. Get somewhere. Your statue. I mean, it keeps going down. I don't see anything else to drain this with, though. Oh, wait, there's more. Ah! Okay. Nah, this is definitely done now. Oh, look, it's that set that fooled me into thinking <laughs> there was slip resistance in the first game. Am I? I just got into another cave. <laughs> oh, okay. Below. Huh? 
Slippery cave. Okay. Please tell me this works. Okay, good. All right, all right, all right, all right. What happened there? Far up am I? Okay, it's just here. shit. <laughs> you there, please help me. The sludge fell upon me so suddenly I could wash it away if I only had some water. Oh. Are we playing Mario Sunshine now? There you go. You saved me, thank you. How shameful that this should happen to me, Captain of the Guard at Zora's Domain. Unbelievable. After the upheaval, that filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It sullied the waters around here and in Zora's Domain. Everyone is at their wit's end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself, to think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. Ugh. Just think of it, it makes my scale bristle. Ugh, my gills still feel unclean. If you had not sprayed me with water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please take Zora Spear as a token of my thanks. It decayed like the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but, well, it's not unusable, at least. Hmm? Oh, too many weapons. Yeah, I think I'm good on the Zora Spear. Sure, I need a thumbnail for this later. Alright, let me get the tower. Okay, tower acquired. This is the last thing I wanted to do today. I, you can blame Banjo Kazooie and the, uh, the ship level. But I'm here. This is going to be like Mario Sunshine, isn't it? It's going to be like some sludge thing. Maybe I should attach... It might be worth attaching one of those things to a shield, so then I can just pull it out and, uh... Like, have a shield that sprays water. It's probably not a bad idea. So I got the feeling it's gonna be a common theme. Okay, well I'm not gonna go down more rabbit holes, chat. I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. 
That's genius. What you <laughs> really? I just kind of thought of the first thing. Like, I'm here to get it right now as well. Where is it? It's down here. Yeah, look. You just go. All right. And now I have. I'm I'm actually like Mario Sunshine now. Look. Yeah. <laughs> We Mario Sunshine in this bitch. Alright. Look at this. I can't be the only one that thought to do that right away. Come on, really? I'm gonna make a couple of them. Like, this, that's it. It's, I have a few Zonai shields. I'm gonna do that to both of them. Anyway. Uh, I'm leaving it here for tonight. We'll pick this up tomorrow along with Banjo-Kazooie. So... We'll, uh, we'll continue this. Have a bit of a longer session tomorrow. But I'm gonna go chill for the rest of the evening chat. I've had a long ass week. So, I want to thank you for uh, tuning in today. Appreciate you all hanging out. And while I'm away, if you want to watch more of my content, just head over to YouTube. Uh, search for the channel over there, or go to shambles.gg, my website, which has links to everything I do. So, you can just click buttons and find stuff easier. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for staying to the end, and consider also clicking buttons for the purpose of algorithm stuff. So, thanks to those that have been doing that. Do appreciate it a lot. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna go and just chill for the rest of the evening, but enjoy the rest of your day chat, and I'll see you next time. Take care.